strapping. So these shoulder strappings are useful. Um, and I'll show you two levels. So I'll show you the basic level first, which is just good for a bit of achiness in the shoulder or something. And then we'll show you the restrictive level, which is really good for when you're getting into your contact sports and that. So um, if we're doing just the base level where it's not too restrictive, you're going to use this more in, as I said, in non-contact sports, even something like netball and that, where you just want a little bit of support for the shoulder, um, you know, even just to give them a bit of comfort, but they're unlikely to have their arm reefed back sort of thing, um, like you are with AFL and that. So, starting out with the hands on the hip and sitting up nice and tall. So you always want to put them in a nice posture to start with. If you take them into a seated down posture, it's always going to cause you problems. Um, with the shoulders, once again, you can use the um, tape adhesive spray and that does work much better, especially if you think they're going to be getting quite sweaty. Um, you want to put that on them just because otherwise the tape will just lifts off. Um, your only other option is basically to wrap them around with a couple of rolls of the elastic cotton stuff to try and hold it all down. Um, but as we talked about, it's not always cost efficient um, and it does stick down quite well if you use it a combination of the hypersensitive with the tape adhesive. We're not going to put tape adhesive on Jimmy because we want to be able to get it off afterwards fairly quickly. Here, then we want our anchors on the arm. Now, if you're only doing the like the mild, just supportive taping, you probably don't need this anchor around the base here. I've just put that on because we're getting it ready for the restrictive one that we're going to do for the contact sport. If you're just doing the supportive one, you only really need this anchor and this one here. Um, now, if somebody is really sensitive or if you're going to be leaving it on them for like a weekend of competition or something, you can put the hypersensitive over their whole shoulder or just at least under where you can put the strips on the shoulder. Um, if you're just wearing it for the time bit, like for a couple of hours just while they're competing, um, then I just use the hypersensitive, as we said, just because it moves better with the skin so it forms a better anchor than the rigid tape. From there, we want to just give a little bit of support to the shoulder. And what we're trying to do with this is we're trying to mimic the actions of the deltoid and the rotator cuff. So they're the muscles that we talked about yesterday that help support the shoulder um, and help create that power. So we want to just mimic the fibre directions. So we're just having one across the back, so one straight across there to there, from the anchor to the arm.
disturbing their sleep. People will often report if they're having shoulder pain, like from impingement or like acute injuries, that by popping this on, it just allows them to sleep a little bit better because it's holding their shoulder in a supportive position um, without covering them in tape sort of thing. So as you said, you'd probably have another two or three strips on here. Okay. Now, when we're doing your full restrictive supportive tape for things like um, your AFL, your um, not too much to soccer, your Lee, um, even some netball, what you're looking at doing is we want to restrict that movement with our shoulder, so we don't want the shoulder to be able to be ripped backwards. So this is why we've got it started with the hand on the hip, so we're already taping the shoulder into a rotated forward position, so that by the time we get up to here, the tape tightens up nicely. Um, and it's basically just a more severe version of this. So we're going to start at the front. Now you can do this, well I guess you can do this two ways. You can either start at one side and work your way across. I tend to do it as a crisscross, so do front, back, front, back, front, back until we've covered the whole shoulder. big the guy is or how big the girl is, how much um, resistance you want to put in it, you put another strip on there. And then we're going to put what, the same one across the back. Now, with the back of the arm, so in through this section here, generally what you'll find when you tape it through there, because they're going to be stretching through there and the tape's got a serrated edge, what will happen is through the game, that tape will actually tear up through your taping. So if you want to stop and it basically means it starts to lose a lot of the support that it has in across the back here. So a little trick you can do is get you a bit of tape, and before you place it on there, actually, can you spin around to the, your legs around the other way? Cool. So you can see, so what will happen is, if we just tape, put a bit straight across there, it will tear, and it will continue to tear up through this tape often, and that's where you lose a lot of restriction. So before we tape that, grab a little bit of your tape, and just fold the bottom part of it down. So I've just folded part of the adhesive down on itself. Place it with the folded bit on the downward side. So what we've effectively done is created a bit that's non-serrated, so it can't be torn. Get another bit and then pop it straight over across that top one. Okay. So then when Jimmy lifts his arm, once this is held down, that creates a nice strong bit that will withhold any of that and keep the tape um, intact throughout the entire game. And then we're just going to put our anchors down through there. So normally it's easier if you do it straight off the roll to get the right length. So you do it through there. One tip is make sure that when you're doing this, you watch out for the nipple as well. Try not to tape directly over the nipple, at least with the rigid tape. If you're going to tape across it for some reason, pop the hypersensitive or band aid under there first because it can be a lot more sensitive. Um, taking skin off somebody's nipple, you're not going to be their favourite trainer if you do that. If you are taping a girl, um, you know, same rules apply as with a boy. Um, Basically, just get them in, down to, if they're comfortable, into their sports bra or a singlet top with their sports bra on, and just get them to pop their um, arms out over the side so it's just the bra sits down around there. Um, it's the same tape with a girl. Um, so, you know, everything is the same sort of thing. You're still taping down across to the front of the chest here. Um, obviously, it is easier with a guy because you don't have to worry about everything else getting in the way. Um, and then just covering your anchor. Not putting any 
tension on that anchor underneath because we still want it to be able to breathe really well. As I said, you can get the elastic co um, cotton tape, wrap it around, um, around the chest and the back to hold this down um, and even do like a figure eight where it wraps around the shoulder. If you've used the hypersensitive tape and the spray adhesive, you'll often find that isn't necessary and it's okay to do it without that. Um, okay, so that's for your restrictive shoulder taping. So you can see that just holds it nice in shape so that when he lifts up, comes back, we get tightening, comes forward, it's tightening. So we've got a nice supportive strapping there. Your other main one that you're going to come across, especially with contact sports, is your AC joint. Um, so that often they've had a fracture or that there's been a dislocation of the AC joint can spin around. So um, that's an even easier one. So basically you've got your anchors, which AC joints here. So you put your anchors straight over the joint, down to there. And then all you're going to do is a few strips. Pulling it down nice and firm. Um, but 